Hello, welcome to the original Black Nerd Show, and uh, today uh, we're going to talk about my man, Jace, don't call me Tim Fox, the next Batman, yeah, and uh, as uh, we go into his uh, new series, I Am Batman, uh, I'm just going to give you a brief catch up to where he is, where he's been, where he's going, because, you know, to follow the next Batman, you got to follow a real crazy timeline. Timeline, Yeah, so let's look at uh, the books that he's been in and uh, try to break down the little timeline of uh, you know, Jace Fox and his uh, ascent into uh, the next Batman, you know. Uh, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Timeline, it's got like counting the new next bat I am Batman uh book it'll be like six books or so that you gotta figure out what he's about and about. So if we look at it, you know, future state the next Batman, uh that, according to the official timeline, takes place in 2025 after the magistrate program has been uh, fully implemented in Gotham. You know, Jay's, you know, he's been operating as Batman since the, basically since the program was first uh, started out in the uh, world of uh, Alleytown. And uh, we find this out from the solicitation for I Am Batman. So, uh, Future State, which is the first book we saw with uh, Jace in it, uh, is, uh, takes place in 2025. Uh, so, uh, now, uh, the next Batman, Second Son, which is just, uh, it came out in digital first, which, you know, I read there, and then it's just finished its, its print run. Uh, it's a prequel to uh, West. Uh, Jace Fox gives a ba- reveals his motivation to become the ba- next Batman. It also reveals the dark side of the Fox family. It reveals the uh, emergence of Tiffany Robin, not Robin Fox. Uh, I'll talk about her a little bit later. And uh, talks it shows in here we saw about the uh, first meeting of Lucius Fox and uh, Simon St. James about uh, the magistrate program, and we also find out in uh, this uh, series about what's going on with Luke Fox, AKA Batwing, and his uh, changes that he's going through. Uh, like I said, this takes place at the end of Joker War, after you know, Lucius Fox is taking over Wayne Enterprises and the Wayne Fortune, he's now Fox Tech, and uh, in this, uh, series uh we find uh, we find uh, about Jace's support system uh his or his own oracle and uh he uh, has personal backstory uh why he is the way he is and we find out how he got his Batman suit so uh that's the second son so you figure that takes place you know right you know right now that Batman uh, regular series is just getting go into fear state so we can figure that the next Batman Second Son series is going on about the same time uh, then we have uh, uh, the new series I Am Batman uh, which is getting to come out now and that's having place during the fear state uh, arc story arc that's, a, that's uh, about the just started up and just about to start up in uh, the Batman run and uh, according to uh, solicitations the story is picking up immediately from the events of the next Batman Second Son which where he finds the suit and uh, Jace be, uh, he begins his march uh, towards his uh, I guess his destiny uh, when he goes to fight uh, and protect Alleytown which means he's going to come across path with the Catwoman. Because that's her world. 
and he goes, she goes, no, that's because the magistrate's going to first try out their magistrate force in Allentown. And we saw that in a, uh, one of the later issues of a Catwoman. And, uh, and he's going to be using the Batman armor that he found in uh, Bruce Wayne's uh, old base of operations. Now, uh, in the, the Hyperion, which we is the same place that, uh, you know, we see Punchline. Uh, uh, that's who, who just escaped from Arkham. Uh, who, that's where she took uh, Lucius to force him to give her access to the Batman technology and Joker War. So uh, we'll be visiting that area. That's uh, that's what all happens in the next uh, Batman Second Son, and um, then you know at that right after that, or right you know while uh, uh, before uh, I guess I don't know exactly where this fits in, but right around that same time. Uh, Future State Gotham is going on. And um, so, in, um, I figured that's right right before uh, the next Batman. So, this is probably doing Fear State somewhere right around that time. And um, Jason Todd, who's you know, Red Hood, who is working with the Peacekeepers as Peacekeeper Red, has been told during the story that we haven't seen him yet, but it's supposedly Batman, Bruce Wayne, that uh, J uh, Jace Fox is really a bad guy and uh, it's a, it's a, uh, responsible for this huge explosion that's happened. Uh, but uh, we find out that that's not really the case. Uh, but we also, uh, uh, you know, as I figured this in 2026, because in Future State Dark Detective, uh, Bruce Wayne, that takes place according to the timeline of 2027, and that's where Bruce reveals himself, uh, uh, because all for the whole part of Future State, they think he's dead, and then he takes down the magistrate, so, so Gotham, uh, Future State Gotham has to be before that, uh, but, uh, so it has to be going on at the same time as Future State, I mean Fear uh, State. And um, he comes across, uh, also in Gotham we get a little side story, where we meet uh, Tiffany Fox, uh, who uh, makes a Robin, not Robin debut. Uh, we saw Tiffany get ready for all that action in uh, <laughs> the Second Son series, uh, in a little panel there. Uh, then we see that uh, we know that he runs into Bruce Wayne in Future State Dark Detective, which takes place in 2027. He has a brief encounter, but uh, you know, he just thinks that this guy he meets is just somebody else trying to fill in Batman's shoes because he has no, he thinks Bruce Wayne and his father and all of them are supporters of Batman. He doesn't think that Bruce Wayne is Batman. And then, going right along the line of Future State, in the Future State Justice League, which according to the timeline, is set in the year 2030, uh, Jason's a member of that new Justice League. And this is like the Justice League where all the members are supposed to uh, conceal their real identities from each other. And uh, the new members at that at begin uh, in Future State were Jace and uh, Jonathan Kent, who is Superman, Wonder Woman, Yar Floor, the Green Lantern was Joe Malone, Aqua Woman was Mary Curry, uh, the Flash was uh, Jess Chambers. So that was uh, Future State, which of course, if we go along with that's one potential future of the DC Universe. Then the fact uh, Jason's still around as the next Batman in 2030. Okay, so uh, we're gonna look at uh, Jason's family. You know, the Fox family. We find a lot about them. You know, his father's Lucius Fox, mother's Tanya Fox. He's got his brother Luke Fox, who's also Batwing. Uh, he has his sister Tiffany Fox, is the youngest sister, 
and she'll be like the Robin, not Robin. And then we have his sister Tamara, who uh, has, uh, you know, got caught up by the Rat Catcher back during the Batwing series, and uh, she still suffered from the effects of those. Uh, we see that his friends and his allies, he has his Vol, who's his, his uh, Oracle, his, uh, he has Katana, he has his other characters we come across named Hadia. Uh, he has his enemies, his uh, Tyler Arcane, who we saw him in Second Son. Uh, he ran into uh, the Magistrate or the next... Batman, I think that was Peacekeep 03, I believe. I got it. I'm not sure. And then his latest enemy is a character, a new character called Warmonger. That's him and Jason Todd and Astrid, uh, uh, Astrid Art and Arkham is uh, trying to do battle with. Uh, he got some frenemies, you know. He got, he went, he went uh, back to back and fought with a Dick Grayson Nightwing and he went back to back and fought with uh, Red Hood Jason Todd uh, we found we find a new detective Detective Chubb who's his like police liaison but she really doesn't want to be with his, uh, 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 supportive of him uh, because he has uh, uh, you no know, uh, they have the no mask mandate and the mag magistrate, and that's her job, is to shoot mask on sight, which she does in the next Batman. Uh, and uh, Ashton Arkham, who's just recently in the last issue, we come across in a Gotham. Uh, and then he's uh, Bruce Wayne is always lurking in the background. Like I said, he had a brief encounter with him in the Dark Detective. And, uh, you know, that's uh, how it's going. And uh, so that is, uh, you know, an overview of uh, Jason's little world, you know. And he's basically appeared in uh, several uh, uh, comic books. And uh, he is definitely one of them that can go in there and, and, and tussle a little bit. That is a thing that I do like about Ridley's uh, book. Is that uh, it's plenty of action in here. Batman puts in some work. Uh, Jace Fox can, uh, can do a little bit. Uh, in the, in the, um, the next Batman Future State, uh, we first saw him. He uh, had he had to do in the, the character called the East Side Rapist. He had to deal for a gang called the Bangaleros. He had to fight the magistrate forces on multiple occasions. He had to fight uh, two criminals that he was it was he, he, he was uh, attempting to uh, turn over to the police. Well, he actually turned over to the police. He had a big battle with the peacekeeper. Uh, he had uh, also in the future state, he uh, teamed up with Nightkeeper and I'm not keeping the Nightwing, Dick Grayson, and uh, they did a little battle with uh, Peacekeeper 6. So uh, he's done a little work uh, in uh, Future State Batman, uh, showing some of the fighting action. Then in Second Son, uh, we see him go up against his, who seems to be his, his, his enemy, Tyler Arcane, because, you know, we first meet him in Second Son when uh, he's in Vietnam doing his own little uh, hero thing. And then we see, you know, he beats up, uh, you know, some street thugs in Second Son. He, he has to go to battle with the Morgan, uh, Eber O'Rourke, which uh, is a, a, a top assassin. Now she smacks him down, uh, but you know, his uh, friend and ally Katana to come to the rescue uh, in Gotham. He's got to do, he goes toe to toe with Red Hood. He goes toe to toe with a bunch of other uh, Arkham inmates when they surround him and they try to all jump him and Red Hood when they had to go back to back. 
uh, they he goes he and Red Red, Red Hood also go to battle with Warmonger, but that didn't turn out too well, at least the first time around. And he also had a little uh, side story where he fought a bunch of uh, uh, racist uh, uh, um, get, uh, ex Penguin member Penguin Penguin members of the Penguin Gang, and uh, and he fights them. So he puts in some work fighting. So uh, I'm gonna pull this part, part one, to an end uh, because you know it is at 15 minutes and it won't be here forever for you. I will bring in part two, and in part two, what we're going to talk about is the difference between Bruce Wayne and Jay Fox because he is not trying to replace Bruce Wayne. It's going to talk about each member of the Fox family and how they relate the stories. I'll touch a little bit on all his different enemies, you know, Tyler Kane, his battle with the Peacekeeper, Warmonger, uh, his frenemies, a little bit more on his deals with Dick Grayson, with Jason Todd, uh, his supporters, so we're going to talk about Val and his dealings with uh, Katana and uh, cover those things to bring you up to speed so when we get to the I Am Batman series you will understand where everything is about uh, Jace Fox. Uh, I just want you to say, say thank you for being here and make sure that you uh, like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'm out of here. Peace. Hello, welcome to the